sometimes I give assignments that are so strange that students almost don't know what to make of it. And that, I think, is a good place for them to be because they don't feel that there's a right way to do it. And then they take risks and it frees them to just try new things because it's just so bizarre that it's so obvious. I'm not looking for anything specific and anything kind of goes in the classroom. One of the most important things as an instructor when you're trying to foster creativity in the classroom is the way you respond when creativity is actually happening. And so when there's evidence of it, it's crucial to respond, I think, positively, regardless of the quality of the piece that's been created, because there's always time to fix it later. We were doing an exercise in my class where students were posting an image that somehow represented themselves and the, student, the other students were guessing what it might imply about them. And one student, instead of responding with a paragraph, was, was responding with haiku about all the people who had posted images. And it was so different and, and unique and fun. And I made it a point, I don't typically get involved in that exercise so much, but I don't post my own image, but this time I did. I posted my own image and I said, Oh, I, it's just because I wanted a haiku also, just to encourage other students to be playful and to try new things. Since I started Allison's class, I thought that creative writing was poems, short stories, you know, memoirs, that sort of thing. But when Allison brought her style or ways of teaching into the class, it really, you know, personally made me kind of grow in a way. Um, like we've been saying, this experimental stunting on writing has really changed, you know, what I thought about poetry. I never really cared for poetry. I never really understood it. But now uh, being in her class and, and the way she teaches and really breaks it down to you, it's a lot, lot more interesting than what I thought.